Hi, Ashley here with hearthookhome.com and today we are going to learn how to do the foundation double crochet. We've already learned how to do the foundation single crochet and the foundation half double crochet. This is very similar. We are going to do an extra yarn over for that double and when we start this is going to be our first chain right here and then we're going to work our way this way. While you are working your foundation rows, it looks like you're going straight up instead of across, but then when you start row two, you'll turn it regular to where this is the top of your stitches and these are the bottom of your stitches. So let's get started. You're going to start with a slip knot like normal. Insert your hook and chain two. The chain two is going to be the side of your first stitch. So now we're going to yarn over, we're going to go into the very first chain that we did and pull up a loop. Perfect. So now we've got three loops on our hook. Now you're going to chain one in that first one. You're just going to pull it through just that first one. This is going to be the bottom of the first stitch. So this is the side and this is the bottom. Now since it's a double foundation crochet, we're going to yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through two. This is your first foundation double crochet. It doesn't look like much now, so let's create a few more of them to where it actually starts taking shape. To make another one, you're going to yarn over and you're going to turn it to where you're looking at the bottom of that stitch. So you want to insert your hook under both sides of that bottom of the stitch, of the one you just made. Yarn over and pull through. Now you're back to having three loops on your hook. One thing that's very important to note, make sure when you pull this loop through that we just did that it's not too tight. If it's too tight, your, your foundation chain will curl like this. So make sure you pull it up nice and tall, just as tall as the other stitches here. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through just one. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And that is it. Let's do some more. Yarn over, go into the side or the bottom, both sides of that last stitch that you just completed, and pull up a loop. Make sure that loop is nice and tall. Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And that's it. So now we have three foundation double crochets. Let's make some more. Insert into both sides of that V from the previous stitch, pull up a loop, make it nice and tall, yarn over, pull through just one, that's the bottom of the stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Same thing, both sides, pull up that stitch nice and tall, pull through one, pull through two, pull through two. Keep going. And then when we're done with this one here, we're going to start a new row so that you can tell how to start your second row. So you can reuse the foundation double crochet to replace the first row of double crochet in your patterns that you're working. So if you really hate chaining and crocheting back through each individual chain, this is going to be perfect for you. When you get done with your first row, you're going to look at your tail over here. So the tail is on the bottom of your piece. So you know that this is the bottom of your work and this is the top of your work. So to do the second row of double crochet, I always chain two to start a double crochet row, turn, you're going to place your very first stitch right here and you're just going to double crochet into that guy just like normal and into the next one. Now I'm going to double crochet all the way to the end and we'll take a look at how nice and clean this looks. I find that it makes my beginning of projects go a lot faster because I'm not chaining and feeling like I have to go back through, especially when you're doing a blanket that has several hundred chains. No thank you ma'am. Okay, so I've pulled my yarn through, saved my place. So here we are 
we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Perfect. We have a lovely little foundation row here. And I love how easy it looks. I love how it creates just that nice, clean bottom edge that you can go right into. And if you're putting a border on this later, I like how it leaves these bottom stitches very clean looking to where you can just go right into these with your border row instead of having to go into that tiny little chain like you sometimes would have to. So I hope you enjoy doing the foundation double crochet and I hope this helps in your crocheting adventures. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.